Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. Um, I, first of all, I want to say you might be dealing with some disturbances because I've had a hard time getting started with this reading. There's just been little nuances and stupid, stupid, crazy, stupid, whatever. Just nuances. So when that happens, it's a message. So um, you may be dealing with some um, nuances this month. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, for at any time in the month of December. So, and then this reading may or may not be for you. So we get some people that comment under below, you know, something stupid. And when you write something that d stupid, it means that the reading didn't resonate with you. So keep that in mind. Let's see what we got. What do we got for Aquarius? Too many. See, it's like, it's like, it's just, and isn't that a nuance? You know what I mean? What, what just happened, what I just said. It's just like common sense, common sense. You may be dealing with some people that just don't have any common sense. So we got somebody here that is trapped, mentally trapped. This person can escape. Their feet are not bound, but they're not escaping. It's like they're staying in a situation that makes them feel trapped. But it's comfortable there, but they're feeling battered and feeling... Uh, it's almost like a victim mentality. It's like they play the victim. So somebody, right, somebody here is like they're allowing themselves to be the victim of somebody that doesn't love. Okay, the Queen of Cups reversed. This is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This person definitely plays the victim. This is a victim mentality. So, Aquarius. Now, keep in mind, these readings can go vice versa. We got somebody here that has a victim mentality. And that is extremely clear that they do. Okay? It, this, that is truly a victim mentality right there. Um... This person is definitely very emotional. They may use emotional blackmail to cause somebody to be confused. Um, they may cry a lot or um, poor, poor, poor me. Uh, it's never me. You know, I didn't do anything wrong. And this could be male or female. We, we got somebody here that definitely plays the victim and they do it very, very, very well. Um, and they're keeping another person stuck, but this person is allowing it. It's like you can escape at any time, but choosing not to. And it's like this person is totally take advan taking advantage of this person's, uh, it's almost like kindness. Because this person is just hoping. They're hoping that this person is going to change. They're hoping that this person is going to love them. But this person doesn't know how to love. So it's weird. It's interesting. So I think, Aquarius, you're dealing with somebody that is keeping you trapped. You know, it's like you're not seeing that this person doesn't know how to love. Somebody, or you, or whatever. It could go, this could be anybody. Somebody has a blindfold on. And they're staying in a situation where there's no love. It's not emotionally healthy that's for damn sure um wow wheel of fortune that's keeping somebody stuck this person um is is definitely clinging to control very controlling very manipulative uh uses their emotions to keep somebody from moving forward, you know, definitely emotional blackmail here. So somebody is being blackmailed emotionally by another person. It's like stopping somebody from, um, seriously stopping somebody from moving forward, moving into what they're, where they're destined to go. This person is using emotional blackmail, and that is no joke, to keep somebody stuck. Interesting. Clinging to control. Not wanting to let go of control. But the Wheel of Fortune is also bad luck. So somebody's going to get, this person is going to get something. You know, karma is real. Oh, 
Ten of Cups reversed. There's no happiness. See, this person is not happy on the inside. So it's like misery loves company. This person is trying to bring another person down. Now, the Ten of Cups reversed is the, like, and, and the Wheel of Fortune, they're both tens. So this needs to end, but somebody is, is trying to cling to control to so much that they're stopping something from ending, but it is going to end. Yes, it is. You may be able to bide some time, or this person may be able to, be able to hold off for a little while, but it is destined to end. So Ten of Cups reversed is relationship problems. It's a dying dream. It could be children leaving the home. Whatever it is, there is a completion here that somebody has been trying to block. It's this person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. Um, this person... Um, it's like they don't want to let go of the relationship or something like that. They're clinging to control. They want to be in control. They don't like to let go of control. Now, this is a card of keeping somebody contained, keeping keeping somebody under their control. They want to remain in control. Seven of Swords reverse. This is getting caught. Somebody's going to get caught. This person. It's this person up here. This person that is so controlling is going to get caught in a lie. Something is going to get revealed and you got to be careful. This person may be, may, be, may be actually keeping somebody stuck or wanting to keep somebody stuck. It's like not letting them go. This is thinking they're getting away with their lies. Thinking they're getting away with their emotional blackmail. Thinking they're getting away with whatever they want. They think they can do whatever they want. But there is uh, a light that is going to be shown. The hermit is 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 a very wise, wise individual that sees. It's like this person sees the light. They see things clearly. It's like this person knows. This person has so much wisdom behind their back. It's like you can't, you can't, you can't hide anything from this person. This person ha is very. Um, consciously awake so we have awakened a visual individual that it could be a virgo this person is going to see something it's like you can't this person is so wise and has so much this is a jesus consciousness okay this person is so consciously aware of of what is that you can't you can't blackmail this person you can't hide the truth from this person this the devil this is this is severing ties this is you could you could say heaven versus hell seriously this is a jesus consciousness this is hell this is breaking the bonds breaking free from hell shining the light on a unhealthy toxic situation so there is going to be a reveal because this is a reveal Somebody has been trapped in a situation, mentally trapped, needing to escape, but they it's like they couldn't find the uh, ability to sever ties. They couldn't find the, the strength, that's what I want to say, to break free from this. But this is becoming consciously aware, you know, stepping back and coming up with a plan and refocusing and seeing the light that this is unhealthy, this is toxic. Somebody is breaking free from an, uh, this is freedom. Becoming consciously aware that it's time to break free from this situation that is so unhealthy. So we do have somebody that is breaking, this is freedom. Somebody is being, and this is, see the chains and this is being tied up. This is like being literally cut free. So somebody is being cut free from something. Wow. It's almost like this This may happen without notice. There's no closure. Somebody has been in a situation where they felt empty and lost and alone anyway. Uh, when you get the world reversed, it's like there's there's a there's there's definitely going to be an ending here. This is the last card in the deck, the completion, completion, completion. But somebody has been resisting this ending, totally resisting it. But somebody could get caught cheating. Okay. Um, another card 
here to the lies being exposed and this is cheating there is some sort of lies that are going to be exposed and somebody could end up uh leaving without saying goodbye okay with the world reverse it's like there's no closure it's just like I'm going my own way without saying so there could be a departure without saying goodbye just saying um, the devil reverse is, is is severing ties okay this is severing ties from something that is not successful there's no success here this lies being exposed coming taking the blindfold off here's the blindfold is on it's taking the blindfold off and opening up coming out of the darkness definitely seeing the light it's coming out of a dark period where there was deception there was lies there was betrayal so there's some sort of betrayal here and it's like it's going to be revealed whatever it is there's an opportunity for love emotional fulfillment big 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 love this is a this is a new opportunity for for love but you have to sever ties with, with whatever this toxic situation is. Could be with a Capricorn, could be with a Virgo, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is getting caught lying. Somebody's going to get caught lying this month. Somebody may have unfinished business with somebody from their past that they loved, and they've been dealing with that person, just saying that could be the case. it's like somebody there's a cycle that needs to end but somebody is resisting it at all costs it's total resistance two of cups reversed up here with this ten of cups reversed and the wheel of there's a partnership there's a split and and some people don't get it they think that when they see the two of cups or the lovers they automatically think it's a lover it doesn't have to be a lover. There's a breakup here. There's a split between two people that are not meant to be in the next season. They're not meant to be in the next phase. They're not meant to be in the next cycle. Okay? So just saying there's going to be a split. There is there is going to be some sort of departure. There's, go there's a relationship where there is going to definitely be a severing of ties here. Um, there is, and this could be a family member, it could be a work partner that you've worked with for years and years, it could be a husband, it could be a wife, um, it could be a friend, whatever, there's some sort of split here, there's no relationship anymore, the relationship is coming to an end, um, and there's a bigger opportunity here for emotional fulfillment, a big bright opportunity, and it feels like this is coming to an end without any closure with the world card reverse. It's like it just ends and you don't get the closure that you deserve or you think you deserve or that you wanted or whatever. The seven of swords reverse is somebody is getting caught in a lie with the two of it's like the lies and the truths are being exposed about it almost feels like somebody has been with somebody from their past and it comes out. Maybe they've cheated or they're in love with their past. They're in love with somebody from their past or something like that. Whatever the case is. is, And there could be a reunion with somebody from the past even right here. A reconciliation with somebody that there's unfinished business with. Maybe that's why they cheated or, or there is cheating or whatever. There could be a reconciliation with somebody. You know, there, the... It, it, it didn't end properly, so that could be for some of you. Um, this is severing ties. It's seeing the light, becoming consciously aware that this is unhealthy. There's a better opportunity for love. You can't keep being stuck. It's time to open your eyes and move on. It's time to, you know, step into unknown territory and outside of your overanalyzing and make that move. Whoever you're dealing with is emotionally unavailable. It's not about love. It's about power and control. The only person, the reason this person is still involved is because of control. They like to be in control. Right now they have the control and in, they like that. That's the only reason they're still involved. And I feel like there's a relationship that is coming to an end, but somebody has, it's like they have their foot in the wheel, right? They have their, they have their foot stopping it from ending. And the only reason they're doing that is because right now they're in complete control and people have a hard time letting go of it. But we do have relationship problems and a partnership that is about to split up. And this, and I got to reiterate this, a partnership could be with anybody. It doesn't have to be with the one that you sleep with every night. 
okay? But it could be, okay? Um, but we do have an ending here that, that, is, that is destined to end. This isn't meant to go any further. It's meant to end. Um, now you have to make some sort of choice. Um, and there's a feeling of confusion here. Now, what do I do now? What do I do? What's the best choice for me? What, you know, so we, it's like this person's head is in the clouds and you may feel like your head is in the clouds because now you are faced with a decision, a choice. What are you going to do now that now that something has been revealed now that some truth has come out because Aquarius be prepared for some truth to come out in regards to a partnership. Okay. There is, and it's going to force you to really think. Okay, it's going to make you think, why have you been staying here? Why have you been here? Why have you been doing this with this person that is, I think this person is in love with their, with their past, honestly, I do. So it's like, or, or they're just not able to love for some reason, you know what I mean? They're not emotionally available. Uh, anyway, I feel like you're going to be, you're, you're going to be really thinking about, you know, what should I do now, now that I, I believe, now that you realize this could be your con Jesus consciousness. Maybe you just realize this person is never going to love me. They're in love with so-and-so, you know what I mean? So that could certainly be the case. Um, so anyway, there is a severing of ties because that is the devil that is taking back the devil reversed. Is freedom. It's release from an unhealthy situation when there's no success. Goodbye. See ya. Right? I mean, that's the Eight of Cups. It's time for me to go. So this is a lot of disappointment, emotional disappointment, saying goodbye, leaving. Somebody is leaving. And it's going right here because I was going to clarify this. They are breaking free from an unhealthy situation, leaving the emotionally disappointing situation behind and looking for big love. I, you know, I deserve big love. I deserve to be loved. And they're headed towards love. They are. But they have to complete this cycle first. So I feel like this is definitely saying goodbye to an unhealthy situation, taking back control. Becoming aware that it's time. It's time to move on. The Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Or this is the birth of a new life. This is an opportunity to create whatever you want. This is the birth. This is the birth of a new life after going through a painful situation. So you have to make a choice. Do you want to accept this pain and receive a blessing? Or do you want to keep being stuck and holding on? Anyhow, we have the birth of a new life here. There's an opportunity for, for love. There's an opportunity for abundance. This is the giver of life. So you have an opportunity here. This is somebody who is beautiful. You may have an option or an opportunity to choose somebody that is more nurturing, more, more loving, more kind, more gentle. This person has life experience. And maybe you're, if you are the young Aquarian woman watching this, this person is, has a lot of life experience. Maybe you are gaining life experience from this mental turmoil, this situation that you have been in. You have to go through this to become the Empress. You have to find your strength to break free from some sort of trap to become the Empress. You have to accept pain and deal with it to become the Empress. And that includes severing ties with things that are not healthy for you. That's part of becoming the Empress. You have to be strength. You have to know your value. The Empress knows her value. She doesn't involve herself with third party situations. If you are involved in a third party situation, you are not the Empress. The Empress knows her value and she will not engage. 
And she receives full respect from everybody around her because she values herself. That's the energy she, put, she puts out. That's the energy she calls in. So anyway, we have somebody that is becoming the empress through pain and suffering. We also have some of you are the male watching this. You may have an opportunity to choose an empress. But you have to choose wisely. This is choose wisely. Do you want to deal with this person that doesn't love you and cheats and sleeps around? Or do you want somebody who knows their value and doesn't engage in that kind of hoorah? Anyway, I see a split. There could be a divorce on the table here. Um, that's what I got. Good luck.